Hi Zachary, Hi. nice to meet you, nice congratulations to meet you. for the movie. Thank you. Um, come prima cosa voglio chiederti come sei riuscito a costruire la tensione all'interno di quattro mura? So first of all I would like to know how did you manage to create this tension in between, in, in, with four walls? With four walls? <laughs> well, it's, I mean, it's everything, right? It's, um, how is the tension created in the film? Well, I think it's a lot of different things. It's the narrative setup. Um, it's the fact that these characters are matched in a, uh, a conflict that holds interest for the audience. Um, the writing is, I think, exceptionally well done and the performances are, are extremely uh, exceptionally well done as well. So all of these things contribute to the way that tension is held. And then in terms of the directing craft, there is something to be said for the idea that <clears throat> I didn't want to cover it like a sort of more conventional sort of film. I wanted the camera to be able to be expressive and intense in a way that felt like it was in keeping with the, um, the emotional nature of what's happening. So the camera, at times where there's a lot of tension between the characters, the camera tries to express that tension in visually stylistic terms. And uh, this is something that uh, sometimes you see one location movies and they feel a little bit like plays and I wanted to try to push the stylistic element of it a bit uh, more. Yeah. L'umore, il ritmo del film, credo che lo detti un pochino uh, la colonna sonora. Sei d'accordo con questo? So uh, the, the score of the film, the soundtrack of the mm. film leads a little bit the, the mood of the film. Do you think it's true? Is what it thinks? Uh, I would, I'm not sure that I would say that it, uh, I'm not sure exactly how you mean leads, uh, depending on uh, how you mean it could, I could agree, or, but I guess the way I would think of it is that I think that uh, the score that Ariel turned in enhances a lot of what's going on in the film emotionally and psychologically. I think it's uh, supportive and, and enhances and illuminates a lot of the emotional affects. Sei, sei di New York, sei di Manhattan, ti chiedo quanto influisce appunto l'esplosione che c'è in una città del genere nel tuo processo artistico? Eh, so, l'esplosione? Nel suo processo artistico di ispirazione appunto, quanto New York influisce sulla... Ok, ok, ok. Uh, so, you're from New York, you're from Manhattan, so how does this uh, influence your way of working? Oh, that's an interesting question. I've never uh, gotten that before. How does being from Manhattan influence my way of working? Uh, I, I guess I'm not sure I know the answer. Um, maybe, um, geez, how does being from Manhattan influence my way of working? The only thing that I can think perhaps is I try to be a very detail-oriented person when I direct, um, especially if it's an independent film, as was the case here, and you, you know, need to marshal and manage your resources as best as possible. And in New York, there's always um, a lot of things happening at any given moment and a lot of stimulation and a lot of people. And uh, you have to be a little bit, I suppose, type A about how you organize your life, or at least I, I guess I am uh, in Manhattan, um, in terms of making sure you are as efficient and productive as possible with how you spend your time and your work. Uh, so perhaps this is uh, an answer to your question. Mm, come ultima domanda ti chiedo, come ultima cosa ti chiedo, mm, agli inizi prima del tuo esordio sei stato anche una, un critico, hai collaborato per diversi giornali, per diverse riviste, eh, quindi ti chiedo, c'è un, una critica specifica che hai letto su Sanctuary e ti ha particolarmente colpito? So you were, before being a director, you were a film critic, uh, and is there any critic, critic about Sanctuary that you read, that you really liked or really moved you or... Gave you an impression. Um, well, yes, and it's, and it's a funny thing. So I, I always find reading reviews to be fascinating. I, feel, I always feel a little bit uh, funny about like naming specific reviews because you, you don't, you want to respect the, um, the barrier between the, the filmmaker and the critic and you don't want, you know, if I were to praise someone, I wouldn't want that to influence the way they might think about a future film in one way. I just want to sort of respect that, that barrier. Um, but uh, I do read all the reviews and I, being a film critic was a great thrill and it was something that was very meaningful to me at that moment in my life and remains so. Um, and so, uh, yes, I find that when you read reviews you learn a lot about your artistic process, your sensibility, you're able to see yourself with a certain objectivity that you simply can't um, otherwise and it can be 
quite powerful for understanding uh, how you approach the, the art form. Thank you. Thank you so much Thank for your so time. Much. Thank you. Thank